My name is Steve Baskoff, and I'm with the Digital Scholarship and Communications Office in the Gene and Alexander Hurd Libraries at Vanderbilt University. This lesson will introduce you to plotting, starting off with plotting data that is in a pandas data frame, and then going more generally into plotting any kind of data using matplotlib. If you came to this page, uh, this video without going through our website, you might be interested to know that the landing page is vanderbilt.lt slash codegraph. From that landing page, you can see all of the different uh, educational materials that we have relating to Python and R. We are starting with plotting using pandas because it's very easy once you have created a pandas data frame to do some very generic sorts of plots with very little work. If you have a pandas data frame and you create a plot of it, the row index will be used for the x-axis. That's the case for most of the plots that, that you can make directly from pandas, except for horizontal bar graphs, in which case the y-axis is created from the row index. If there are multiple columns of data in the uh, data frame, then each column is automatically added to the plot as another line, or if it's not a line graph, as another feature. The default kind of graph is a line. If you are not using, if you're not creating a line graph, you can specify the kind that you want to make using the kind equals argument. Um, and there are many other things that you can control, uh, such as the axis limits, um, the size of the figure, ticks, and so forth, um, that you can specify optionally. So let's go ahead and take a look at um, a simple plot. So we'll start with the import statement. Uh, in the course of this lesson, we'll be using uh, NumPy and matplotlib in addition to pandas. So we will go ahead and do the standard import for those libraries. Um, the matplotlib uh, specific part that we're gonna be using is pyplot. Um, there are other uh, subparts of matplotlib, but this is the one that we'll be using and its standard abbreviation is PLT. So we'll start by, um, after running that cell, we'll start by loading some data that is um, maintained by the New York Times. And this is data about the COVID-19 infection. It's, it's updated daily. So if we go ahead and read the CSV file from GitHub, we can see that we are on the 121st day of data collection. And you can see that the columns that are um, that are maintained in this data set are the date, the number of cases um, cumulatively, and the number of deaths cumulatively. This, these are data for the United States. So it's actually fairly straightforward to create a plot of this data. So um, you simply put the data frame name and say, use the um, dot plot method. If I run that, I will see that it's created a plot showing, um, as I said before, one line for each of the columns in the table for the cases column and the deaths column. And it's automatically created the y-axis based on the largest numbers in the cases level, um, what in the cases column. One of the problems is that when we read in a CSV file generically from uh, a URL or any other uh, spreadsheet data source, the row index is only the integer index. We don't have labels for them. So in this case, it would make sense to have for the x-axis instead of the index numbers, which don't really mean anything, to actually use the dates. So I can set the date as the index for the, um, the data frame. And if I do that and then plot it, I will get a plot that looks like this. 
So that's a bit of an improvement because now I'm getting dates here, but the dates are really basically a mess. So uh, the reason for that is that the dates are simply being treated as uh, strings, as uh, an ordered set of strings. They're not actually uh, date time objects. We, uh, in an earlier lesson, looked at date time objects and there is actually a method called to date time, which will take a um, series from uh, from a pandas uh, object and turn it into a date time object. So if we take the uh, date column and provide the format of the data that are in the column uh, using this standard uh, syntax for for date time conversions, then it will uh, create a uh, it will change the column from a string object column to an actual date time object column. And then, if we set that uh, column full of date time objects as the index, then we'll get an improved graph. So let's go ahead and run that and see what happens. So here we see the date time has been set as the index labels for the row, um, but they're not just strings, they're actually objects. So if I run the next cell, I can see that um, the plotting routine is actually pretty smart about that because they're date time objects, it knows how to create a reasonable um, axis that uh, is in a very human readable form.